What's up you guys? Thank you so much for being here today. My name's Andrea and today I want to talk to you all about Pinterest. One of the most questions I get around social media is how do I use Pinterest? So I am going to break that down for you today in a very clear way. We're going to talk about how to use Pinterest mainly on our desktop, but I'm also going to show you some examples of how to create pins on your mobile device as well. So stick around and we will get to that shortly. In today's world of online business, it is so important to have a social media strategy. And one of the platforms that you definitely don't want to neglect in that strategy is Pinterest. Pinterest can generate a ton of leads for your business and especially traffic to your website. I'm going to get into the details and show you how. Pinterest has been a great way to get new eyeballs on my husband's painting business. We currently post on his Pinterest and he has about eight to 10 million monthly viewers on his Pinterest. As you can see, Pinterest plays a big role in our business. When it comes to social media strategy, one of the things that I highly recommend is diversifying across platforms. So if you haven't diversified into Pinterest yet, you definitely should consider it. Being that Pinterest has been around since 2010, same year that Instagram was open, and they have about 500 million users on their platform right now. So they're not quite at the level where Instagram is yet, but I definitely think they're going to get to that level soon. While a lot of people have their eye on platforms such as TikTok and Instagram, Pinterest is a great platform that isn't super saturated yet. So if you haven't gotten on there, now is the time. If you're seeing this video, it's a sign that you need to get on Pinterest. So let's get into some details about how it works. Pinterest is similar to platforms like Instagram in that it does really well with visual content. So photos and videos especially do well on Pinterest. There's a lot of reasons why Pinterest is quickly becoming one of my favorite platforms, but I will get into that as we go through the tutorial. So right now I'm going to hop on my computer and I'm actually going to show you guys step by step how you can use Pinterest on your devices. Okay, you guys, here we are. We are on Pinterest now. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you from my husband's account. Um, this is his page. It's um, Color by Felix Art. This is the one that we use all the time that I'm currently working on. So over the last year, I've basically been helping him post his content on here as well because originally we started just on Instagram, but we are also posting on Pinterest. I haven't been as dedicated or committed to posting like every day. I just post whenever he has content. So um, right now, basically in the last year, this is what we have been able to achieve, maybe even less than that, like half a year. So that's the power of Pinterest. One of my absolute favorite features about Pinterest, which is similar to how Facebook works as well, is that on your pins, you can actually have a link that goes out to your website. So that is an amazing feature, especially for driving traffic to your products or anything like that. Um, one of my favorite features in Pinterest. So, I will basically just show you guys exactly how to use Pinterest. Um, if you were to go to um, the home feed, this is what it looks like. Let's see if I can get there. Okay, home feed. So here we are on the home feed. This shows all of the recommendations from Pinterest according to things that you've liked or things that you are pinning on your page. So basically when you go to create your account, Pinterest is going to ask you for some of your favorite things. And based on that, they're going to share their recommendations on your home feed. So these are some recommendations for Felix's, of course, a lot of art stuff, um, inspiration pictures. Basically when you go to your page, your page can either be only your stuff or it can be things that, for example, inspire you. So Felix's page right now is all his own uh, content, but you can also, if you want, show people things that have been inspiring you or things that you have saved. 
So basically we're gonna go to the save tab. So I'll show you exactly what that is. So under the save tab, we have different categories. So here we have all of Felix's pins, but we also, you can think of this like folders. So we have different categories. So we just created this one. So CBF art supplies, we're gonna put people's recreations in there that have used Felix's art supplies. Um, then we have his painting time-lapse videos, his YouTube tutorial videos, his fine art paintings. Um, and we kind of need to clear this up, but those are the main ones. You can also create a folder of things called like inspirations and then you could put like any pins that you see that are inspiring to you in that inspirations folder and your viewers would be able to see the things that are inspiring to you. So basically Pinterest is you collecting your own ideas mixed with other people's um, pins that have inspired you. So now I'm going to show you exactly how you can create your own pins and then we can go on and i'll show you how you could pin someone else's inspiring pins to your boards so these are called boards so now we're going to create a pin so all you would do is you go up here once you're signed into your account well first you would go through and create an account and then you would go to your page so you would go to your settings and you would edit your profile. So you would choose your photo, you would choose your display name. You definitely want to have it be related to what you're gonna be posting about. So if you're posting about uh, wedding photography, you wanna say like wedding photography or something like that in your profile so that people know right away what it is you're gonna be posting about and what they can expect from you. Another thing you immediately wanna make sure you do is connect your website if you have one. Um, because that will allow you to link it in your pins. And also if you have any products on your website that you wanna link with your pins, you need to have your website here. So that's all you really have to do to get started. So let's go back to our page. Up here, these are the notifications, um, messages, notifications, um, announcements from Pinterest. Okay, so we're gonna create a pin now. So create, create pin. And then um, basically you just wanna add your content here. So I noticed that on the website version, you can add carousels. Uh, I haven't been able to do that on the mobile version yet, but carousel is basically just adding multiple photos. So if we wanted to do, let's just say this picture, and then we wanted to create a carousel that would allow us to upload another image. I know these have nothing to do with each other, but let's just use this one for now. Okay, so then here you would be able to scroll through the photos and here you can reorder the images if you wanted to change the order that they're in and then you just click done. So there we have it. Now you would just um, be sure to add your title. Um, you want to be sure to use a keyword that, again, like I suggested when you set up your profile, you want to use a keyword that includes what you're talking about and what you're posting about. So if your theme is wedding photography, like I used before, you would want to say, be sure to mention something about wedding photography in the title and then again in the description. So here's the description, talk about what your pin is about or what it is that you're trying to direct people to. If it's to your website, you wanna direct them, say um, for more wedding photography or for wedding photography inquiries, check out my website and then you would link it here. So that actually is clickable so people can click on your website and be taken to it, so that's great. And now you would want to choose which one of your boards this pin would go under. So as I showed you before, the boards are kind of like the folders. So this would go under my original artwork. So you would click that and then you would click publish. And then that would end up on your pins. So there really is not much to it that other than that, that this is where you can see um, how your pins are doing. Another great thing about Pinterest that I really like is that there are analytics under Pinterest. So you can see how each one of your pins is performing. Um, you can see how many people have liked it, how many people have watched, how many people have pinned it. 
So when people pin it, that basically means that they saved it and they liked that content. So they liked that content enough to save it to their own pins. So that's why when I showed you the two different files up here where it says created and saved. So created are the ones that Felix has originally made. So it's his original content versus saved, which is if he were to see someone's photo or video on the main newsfeed and he liked it, he would save that pin and then it would show up in his saved folder here. So another great feature with Pinterest is that you can actually tag any products here. If there's a painting that you're selling or a photo, anything like that, you can actually tag it here from your website. So that's pretty cool. So let's go back to the home feed and I'm gonna show you guys what it means when I say um, you can pin things that inspire you. One more thing I just thought about is that when you're on your home feed, you can use this little search bar to find any other ideas. So um, they suggest ideas for you. You can also search any topic here that like if you're looking for inspiration, like painting ideas, let's just do that. Painting ideas, let's see what happens. So it's showing a little tutorial. So let's just say that I like this one. So you can see how many followers they have here. You can click on their feed here. If you want to go see their profile, you can follow them here. Or if you don't feel like following them, but you just like this one post, you can choose which file you want to save it under or board. I don't have a painting inspiration board here on Color by Felix, but if you wanted to create that, you could just simply click create board, um, name your board, like painting inspiration, and you can either make it a secret so no one can see it, like it would be private for you, or um, you can make it public if you want people to see what is inspiring you. So. That would be how you can save things to one of your boards on your page. That is someone else's work. So that is what that looks like. You can also you can give it a reaction. You can share this pin. That is a little Pinterest tutorial for you guys. Um, and I will quickly show you similarly what I just did on the computer. I'm going to show you exactly what I did here but I'll just show you how it looks on mobile so you can get a quick view of that as well. All right, guys, here we go. Okay, guys, here is Pinterest mobile. This is my home screen. I'm just using my account this time. So there's a lot of like fashion stuff and quotes. I just opened my account, but these are some recommendations that Pinterest has for me so far. Um, I'm just going to take you through. These are some topics at the top. This is my page. I've barely posted anything, but this is a little preview of how to create a pin. So this is your camera roll. I'm going to choose this photo of Felix and I just for fun um, to show you how to create a pin. So once you select your photo, then you just give it a title description, add your website if you have one, and then be sure to add the alt text because it can actually help your ranking on Pinterest. Then you click next, you select what board or file you wanna save this pin underneath. I'm just gonna do art and fashion. And then our pin has been posted. So this is what it looks like once you post it. Um, I just posted it so it hasn't shown any stats yet, but um, this is where it will show up once it's ready. Now I'm just going to show you how you can quickly comment or save a post that you like. So I can just add a comment here um, by clicking this little speech bubble or I can click save if I want to save this to one of my boards. So I'm just going to save this here to inspiration. So I saved it there. Now it's going to appear on my page underneath saved. If you go to my inspiration folder or board, that's what they're called. Um, here it is, the one that I liked and I saved. And um, these are all my boards that I have so far. Um, 
anything that you like or you create will show up here. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you and I hope you found some value from this video. I hope it could help you. I hope that you are getting started with your Pinterest account and I can't wait to hear how it goes for you. Please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. In order to stay tuned for more of my videos, press the bell button so you know when a new one comes out. I hope that my channel could be a resource for you for all things online business. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and see you next time. Bye.